If you love the Fendi peekaboo like I do, you may be trying to decide between the medium size and the mini size. Well, this video is intended to help you decide. Stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage, where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds, related to these beautiful things we love. The Fendi Peekaboo has become a classic and fantastic luxury handbag. It's very versatile, it can be worn in a few different ways, so top handle, and it also comes with a shoulder strap. You could also attach a longer crossbody strap to it. You can hold it by the handle like this, you can put it over the crook of your arm, to be hands-free. And they come in so many different colors and textures and other materials. There are so many choices and you really can't go wrong with this bag. One of the things I struggled with for a while when I was looking at the Fendi Peekaboos and considering adding them to my collection is whether I wanted to get the medium size or the mini size. Obviously, I ultimately ended up with both. And there is quite a big size difference here, but they also both hold so much. So today I'm gonna to give you dimensions and some wet fits on quite a variety of different things to hopefully give you a better idea of which one would work best for you. And I wanna remind you, I purchased both of these from the pre-loved market, and that makes it another one of the very best luxury bags that you could get, in my opinion, because they tend not to hold their value you very well, so you can get incredible deals on these bags. I got this one for just under a thousand from Fashion File. Also got this one from Fashion File for about twelve hundred, and each of these were both around five or six thousand when they retailed. They're also versatile not just in the different ways you can wear them, but in the different situations you can wear them. They can be everyday bags, they can be work bags. The smaller ones I think could go to events, or be evening bags, or be taken to dinner. They're small enough to sit on the table if you need it to. Plus, of course, one of the things I love the most about the Fendi Peekaboos is that when you open them up, and not in this one necessarily, but a lot of them will have some kind of wonderful hidden surprise on the interior. The sides here are meant to hang down, at least on some of the less structured bags. This is called the Fendi Peekaboo Smile. So you can see that interior, and it goes from what could be a very classy structured bag to something much more playful and casual. And the Peekaboos do come in other sizes. I'm not familiar with all of them, but I know there's a large that's quite a bit bigger than this one. There's also a micro, which is quite a bit smaller than this one, and they even have the tiny little nano ones, but I feel like they've released another size somewhat recently that's somewhere between the medium and the mini, so that might be a good option too if you're considering these. So let's get started comparing these two. Measuring across the base of this bag, it is nine inches by four inches deep, and then the bag itself is six inches tall, plus it has this handle here. And let me give you a little bit of a close-up look on this particular bag in case you've never seen it. This is one of the most, maybe the most stunning bag in my collection. I love this piece so much, it's truly a treasure. It is covered in sequins and beads, which is why it sparkles so much. And oh my gosh, it's just so beautiful. I love this bag. And it has this beautiful leather trim. This particular one it continues that blue leather on the inside. Here's the little strap for it. On this one, it has a thin strap. You'll see on the other bag that it's thicker. And of course, I'm kind of assuming that you're already familiar with the Fendi Peekaboo. It does have a turn lock here, so you open that up and you would go into the pocket on the inside. The other side has exactly the same thing. That's one of the things that could be a little bit frustrating about the peekaboo is you never quite know which side is the front or back, so you don't know where you've put your things because the divider in the middle does completely separate the two compartments. One side here has a little slip pocket for cards, and then the other side has a zipper with a little Fendi plate, and that's the only organization in the bags. These will come undone. Personally, I prefer the look of them when they're attached, but that is how it looks. This one has the leather base, no feet. And the handles here, you can fold those hardware pieces down like this, so the handle will sit a little bit lower when you're storing it, which is handy if your shelf isn't quite high enough when the 
when the handle's up like that. This bag, when measuring on the base, is 13 and a quarter inches long, about five inches deep. It's a little difficult to measure that because you can see there are seams on the bottom. That, that part is three inches, but really the bag is a little wider than the seams. So I measured from corner to corner, that's about five. And then the bag itself is about nine inches tall, not including the handle. This is the Celeria style of the Fendi Peekaboo, and you can tell that it's stitched on the edges there. This bag is handmade, hand-stitched, with the most exquisite leather. It is just so beautiful. And again, you can find fantastic deals on these. This does have feet, which is wonderful, and it has the exact same structure. Mine is just a little bit of a lighter color on the inside than it is on the outside. This side of the bag has no pockets at all, but then the other side has that zip compartment and the Fendi plaque. With the Celeria, mine has a sterling silver plaque. Comparing the straps, you can see the one on the Mini is much, much thinner. It's about a third of an inch wide, while the one on the Celeria on the medium size is about an inch wide. It does taper in where it's a little thinner on the bottom and then it gets thicker as it goes across your shoulder in the middle of the strap. Both of mine have these O clips on the end. So you press a piece there and you're able to attach it to the bag. And on both of mine, neither of them swivel, but I think some of the newer bags do have a swivel piece. But on these, you'd have to be very careful to put the strap on just the right way so it doesn't twist on you. Both straps are also adjustable. The Celeria has seven holes to adjust, while the mini size has 12. Side by side, here they are from the front, the side, and I always find it very helpful to compare the bottoms. So here are the bases. I showed you earlier that the medium size does fit over the crook of your arm. With the mini, the top handle is shorter. You can certainly still get it over your wrist. I have a bit of a thick sweater on right now, Personally, I don't think I'd be able to get it to my elbow, but some people could. The strap on the mini is long enough to be crossbody, but the strap on the medium Celeria is only shoulder length. Here's the medium on my shoulder. It hangs pretty low, and I have it on the shortest setting here. On the longest setting, of course, it hangs even longer, and I could put it crossbody, but I feel like the top handle doesn't fall in the best place, but you could wear it like this if you really wanted to. And here's the mini bag crossbody on the longest setting of the strap. Then here it is on the shortest setting. That was crossbody. Here it is on my shoulder. On that shortest setting, it has all of this part of the leather strap still sticking out. It does have one of these little strap keeper loops, but even then it hangs longer than the clip on the strap there, but that's okay. At least it has this so the strap isn't flying all over the place. Now we'll do a what fits on these bags. Now what I'm not going to do is fill them to the brim to see how much will fit inside. What I'll do instead is show you some items that you may want to try to fit in these bags and we'll see whether or not they do fit. We'll start with the mini. First, a cell phone. I have an iPhone 10 that would easily fit inside this bag. A Louis Vuitton Agenda PM that also easily fits. An iPad mini that would not fit even if it was not in the case. This is an A5 size notebook. It is bigger than the iPad mini, so it would also not fit. A Fendi Nano Baguette would absolutely fit inside. A Louis Vuitton Zippy Coin wallet would also easily fit. A full size wallet. Will that fit? It will not. This is the Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet, by the way. A Louis Vuitton mini pochette. That looks like it'll fit, and it does with no problem. However, a Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire, mm, not so much. A Louis Vuitton toiletry 15 does fit, but because of the corners and how it's a little more structured, it's a little bit more difficult to get in here than the mini pochette was. Not difficult, just a little bit more difficult. And a Louis Vuitton toiletry 19, that's a no. A pencil pouch. This one is from Coach, but it's the same size as the Louis Vuitton on Elizabeth pencil pouch. It looks like it might fit, but it doesn't really. You wouldn't be able to close it. However, the smaller Sidekick pencil pouch from Portland Leather Goods, that does fit. A pair of reading glasses in a sleeve, that definitely fits. A pair of glasses in the Louis Vuitton Lunettes sunglasses holder in the PM size. Hard to see, but it also fits. But in the MM size, well, that also fits too. Now we know that anything that fits in the mini size will of course fit in the medium size. So let's look at the things that did not fit in the mini to see if they fit in the medium. The iPad mini easily fits. An A5 notebook also easily fits. A full size iPad Pro, hmm, it fits standing up, but not sideways. A full size wallet, not a problem. The toiletry 19, easy peasy. The Louis Vuitton 
pochette accessoire. A perfect fit. And with the peekaboo, I would definitely choose the pochette over the toiletry, at least with this particular peekaboo in the soft celeria leather, because the corners on the pochette are rounded and softer and more malleable than the more structured toiletry. And since won't hold the full-size iPad. It definitely won't hold a laptop either, although I think the large size of this would, so if you're looking for a work bag, that could be a great option for you. So there's my comparison of the Fendi Peekaboo and the Medium Celeria and the mini size. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful and I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.